Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Android 13 on your smartphone. So hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So first visit the play store and download this treble check app and make sure your device is projectable and also this uh, systemless system update compatible. Also we do not need root but the bootloader should be unlocked so keep that in mind. Now we need to install an application and this one is called DSU sideloader. So download this application from this github page and all the links will be in the description so make sure you check the description. After installing open the application and by default your user data will be 2GB you can change it from the settings and then just restart your the restart the application and the maximum you have the user data the more storage you will have in the GSI ROM and we also need this uh, this is the Android 13 Pixel 4a uh, Android 13 GSI by Nippon GSI so you can download this now we will open the application and then we will choose the GSI ROM and now we can just uh, check mark the keep the screen on and then install the DSU the app is telling us that there should be no GSI running already on the device so just continue with the process and it will extract the image file so give it some time since we are not using the root method we need to run this in the adb of the laptop so and before that we need the usb deb debugging to be switched on so go to your device uh, settings and in the developer options which you can en enable by uh, tapping on the build number and then just enable the usb debugging and if you're connected to the PC already, you will get this and you need to just allow the uh, access. And in the desktop, you need to copy, I've copied the command on the notepad. We need to use this command on the ADB. So open the terminal by shift and right click. So if you do not have ADB, you can simply just install uh, 15 second ADB from the XDA and you need to open the terminal inside the folder and then we will just copy this command this command can be different for you because it has the folder name as well so it depends upon the name of the folder you have chosen and then just paste the commands and hit enter and this command just invokes the installation so on your phone you will get this uh, authentication you need to verify it and then the DSU installation will begin and this is also going to take some time so wait for it and now the installation is complete and we can just simply restart our device to boot into the GSI so it's like a dual boot we can restart to go into the, D the DSU and then again restart back to go into our uh, stock ROM so it's a, like a dual boot configuration and after some time you will see the logo uh, in my case it is the google logo for the android 13 so it depends upon the device it might not boot for you and it booted for me mine is uh, the moto g 5g or motorola one 5g s so it varies from device to device so you can see the uh, the it is showing the wi-fi so it has identified the wi-fi and also the mobile network is uh, uh, is full so it also connected to the mobile network and it is a pixel 4a so i will advise you to sign in with a secondary google account because i don't think google likes if you are um, like uh, using a mimicking a pixel device as i've heard the rumors about it so you can see it is running the android 13 for gsi rom it is running really smooth and uh, the animations are really nice and it has not changed much from the android 12 and i've been using it for a couple of hours now and i've noticed some of the issues on the first one being that it cannot detect the storage so it just not it, it won't load the storage information and even if i try to take screenshot 
uh, the screenshot will not be saved to the device so it just cannot ac access the internal storage for some reason and even the applications are not getting installed so i don't know it's just with my device but i've noticed this error and i don't think i'm going to continue using the device because you can see if i've tried to download the uh, google application it shows me error that there is not not any enough space to download it the animations and everything is very smooth but if i cannot access the storage then there is no uh, there's no sense in using it you can see even the file manager uh, does not show the storage even if i have provided it enough storage so it could be just the developer preview uh, like issue or it could be just my device but uh, i'm really liking the animations and everything in it if there is a stable version released so that would be really nice and the even the callings are working for me and i don't know if it's vaulty because i'm not getting the vaulty the icon but uh, in the settings the vaulty is enabled and i can actually make calls with it and also the data and lt is working so for me it is really good you can see if i go to the settings and then the wi-fi and internet and i'm using an airtel sim and it shows mobile data on and also the vaulty so that is really cool so yeah that was the android 13 and you can see this is the project tiramisu it still shows android 12 as an uh, symbol but it is the project tiramisu so yeah that was the android 13 and if you want to try it you can definitely go and try it out there is no harm because you're not uh, altering your system partition it is still intact and you can just restart to go back to your stock rom so yeah that was it for this video and i hope you like this one give it a like and uh, i'll see you in the next one